If your website isn't set up in a very specific way, your customers and clients are just gonna wander around and probably get lost, meaning you're gonna lose the lead and the sale. So how do you make your website more of a straight path so that you can lead them exactly where you want them to go, which is paying you for your services. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to turn your website into that kind of a customer trap I'm talking about. I'm Wes McDowell, a web strategist at The Deep End, and this is the channel where I show you how to use your website and what's working now in digital marketing to supercharge your business growth. Today, I'm gonna to let you listen in on a mini coaching session with Gareth, who is a wedding videographer in England. And I've taken a peek at his website already, and it's a bit loose and leaves too much room for his clients to get lost in it. But I've got a few ideas that he can use and that you can definitely steal for your own website. So I'm taking a lot of inspiration from that game that I loved as a kid called Mousetrap. I'm sure you remember it. It's the one where you basically line up everything in just the right way, kicking off a chain of events that ends up with the mouse caught in that trap. So let's talk to Gareth now and see how that same idea can be applied to his website and to yours. All right, so Gareth, why don't you get, get me started by telling me a little bit about what exactly you want your website to do for your business. Okay, so so basically, um, I've recently started it on my own as a wedding videographer. Um, I've been doing it for nine years already with somebody else and I, I wanted to start myself. And um, all, all the wedding websites seem to look the same. So when I designed mine, I wanted to try and make it look a bit different, but I think it's looking very dated now. And it seems more like it's a brochure rather than telling people to book my service. Right. I'm, I'm like just showing them all, all my options and I could do that in a, in a different form, I think. Okay. So it sounds to me like obviously you want it to be used to entice people to actually book with you, correct? Yes. Yes. Okay. Cool deal. I, so I, I really want to make that first first contact point because I think as soon as I make that contact point, I can I can grab the book in. Yeah, that because it's it's going to be hard to ever get someone to book at a higher price point without speaking to you first. So the best thing we can do here, it's not about booking the actual service with you here. It's going to be about booking a consultation because yeah, yeah. I can't imagine any scenario. You know, I've never been married, but I couldn't imagine that I'm just going to go to someone's website and hire them just on the website, right? That's yeah. probably not how yes. it goes. So it doesn't, that's not how it goes. And, you know, with, with me doing a website for a client, they never would just hire me, you know, based on the website. So, um, yeah, so basically what we want to do here then is take this from kind of a, what I would call a bit of a wandering path with all these different links where they can just kind of go on their own and really tighten it up and make it more of that trap-like scenario to where, you know, you're leading them, you're giving them everything they need to feel confident about finally uh, making that next step, which is booking a consultation. So let's go ahead and just kind of talk about it now. So it looks like this is a, this is a Wix site, correct? Yes, and it's, it's, okay. it's just up for renewal now. So <laughs> yeah, and you're planning on going to WordPress, trapped. right? You're, you're, yes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're feeling trapped. Cool. <laughs> All right, so so let's just talk about. I guess what you probably already know, which is first of all, it's not responsive. So that you know, meaning when you resize the window or you're looking at it on mobile, it doesn't really size down in a good way yeah, to make it yeah. um, to make it easy for people who are trying to book. So obviously that needs to be updated. And uh, you know, the other thing too, and I'm sure you're aware of this, you mentioned yourself, you feel it's outdated. Um, it's got this kind of style where it's all boxed in the middle. Obviously the newer style is more of a full width image, you know, that kind of thing, which just makes it feel much more modern day. And I think that, yeah. you know, you're probably competing with a lot of people who do have that kind of style. So you don't definitely don't want to look like the one that's more behind the times. So once you get, right. obviously when you move to WordPress, you're going to go with the more modern kind of theme. Um, but let's talk now about the basic messaging here. So what we've got is kind of, a, it's a big logo up top, which is taking up, this is all is taking up a lot of uh, above the fold real estate, you know, so people have to scroll down to, to get to anything basically. So what I would definitely recommend is, you know, the, the logo should be just kind of smaller with all the navigation up here. Um, cause really your video is the star here, correct? Like yeah, it should yeah. be right. So what I would yeah. recommend is taking this big video and making that the background, you know, have it self play sound off, obviously like it does now, um, because it's, a, it's a really cool video and I would have it obviously be, um, a very all encompassing video of many different weddings you've done. So it's not just yes, one. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's showing a lot of styles. It's showing your versatility. And then over the top of it, you would want to have your basic uh, you know, hero statement. So if you've seen any of my YouTube videos before, you already know uh, your hero image needs to kind of communicate three things. What you do, why that matters, and what they need to do next to get it. So what we've got down here is kind of cool. I like that. Real love stories starring you. That would make a great headline that goes over the image, over the video, but you can't stop there because the thing about, while this is, it's a cool headline, it's a little on the clever side, meaning it doesn't really say exactly what you do. So you'd want to give that immediate, immediate clarity of exactly what you do. What are these real love stories starring you? So underneath that, you'd have the sub headline that would say basically, you know, I'm a, wedding videographer, um, you know, so say exactly what it is you do and how you make their day better or their memory okay. stay alive, so something like that. Maybe the headline, the headline, and then is what, what I do. And, and the sub headline is how I do it. Maybe something like that. Yeah. Well, I think the headline can absolutely be real love stories starring you. I like that. But then right underneath that in the sub headline, that's where you'll want to give a little bit more clarity and a little more meat okay. and potatoes rather than, um, so it would say something like real love story starring you big underneath that, uh, wedding videography that captures your memories and lasts a lifetime. So, like yeah. so yeah. it basically says exactly what you do, but then you've got this nice sentiment right above it. So I think that would capture it really nicely. And then what's the third part? The third part is, you know, you got to give them a way to get their hands on this if they want it. So, you know, what we've got here, I'm noticing you've got several different ways of people contacting you or taking a next step. Um, but what you really want is one. So what I'm seeing here is book online. I'm seeing contact. And then down here, I'm seeing check availability. So okay. what I, I like Th book these two are they're probably not going to see these because they're just styled like everything else you need to make a big deal about your call to action and it should not be contact the next step is them not to contact you it's to book a consultation right so okay. i need you that, that language needs to be really clear um and then book online so basically when you go here takes you to a really long form where people are actually expected to book their day, right? Yes, that tab is there for after I've had a consultation. If a client mm -hmm. says, yes, we'd like to book, we've decided to book, then I send them to this this page. Sure. So maybe that doesn't need to be. Yeah, what I would recommend you do is if you have this page, put it at, in the bottom, you know, put in the bottom navigation because it's going to be confusing for people who think that might mean booking a consultation. So I would definitely not have it so prominent here. Okay. I would actually rec so you put it in the footer and then you also um, probably just email it to them. Once you've had that conversation yeah. and they've said, yes, I want to move forward, you email them that link, you know, okay. and then that also feels a little special too. It feels a little like, you know, style that email, like it's a, you're invited kind of thing. Like, you know, make it feel like it's an exclusive thing that they're being able to book, yeah. you know? Um, okay. Okay. So beyond that, so I think the real, oh, and I also have a question about check availability. So is that, that's probably not the language we want to use here because um, what we want to encourage people to do is to book a consultation. So I would have this button say, you know, book a free consultation and have it okay. styled like this. This is great because it, it stands out against all the green. Um, and the, the CTA button does have to stand out. So you would use this pink color for that CTA button and nowhere else. Like it wouldn't be used okay. on this flower. It would be, you know, or whatever color you use, that it's, it's only for the call to action and nothing else. So, right. and then what I would have it do is you'd go to your book a consultation page, which, you know, you could use Calendly or some kind of online scheduler, which is what I recommend, rather than just that email form where that you have to kind okay. of go back and forth then about what time works for everybody. So I would recommend yeah. Calendly for that. And then have them check what date they're interested in there. And, you know, if you're if you're going to be fancy about your site, and if you're going to hire a developer to do something custom for you, you could always have them when they choose a date. It'll say like a little message will pop up saying, 
congratulations, that date is still available. You know, basically, but, but give them, make it some kind of language that makes it sound like it's still available for now. Yeah. But for now, yeah. it may not be available tomorrow. It's a little <laughs> bit of, you know, you know, scarcity goes a long way when you're trying yeah. to do this. So if you make them think they have forever to schedule, then they may put it off. So you wanted to let them know if you book this today, we're, we've got you. If not, we can't promise anything, right? And then if they choose right. a date that you're not available, then a message will just pop up saying, I'm sorry, we're not available, but would you like to, maybe we can still talk to you for a wait list thing. I don't know how you would work that. But, yeah, yeah. You know. Is it, um, is it that, worth getting the email address through, you know, through offering them something? Yeah, I mean, that's something that we could talk about as well. Um, you're talking about a, the idea of a lead magnet. Yeah. Yeah, I always recommend that. So that would basically be something you could offer them, you know, in terms of basically solving was, a was, problem for them, like how to plan a picture perfect wedding or something that has photography and videography involved in it, but you're not okay. really telling them like how to v tape their own wedding. It's But it's more about right. how to style the day so that it looks great on camera or how to style the bride for camera. I don't know, something like that. Okay. You know that one thing I did have in mind was um, obviously when when they visit my website, they only see a highlight film. They don't see right. what they're actually watching, what they're actually getting in the end. Uh -huh. So I I was thinking of a way to get their email on their email list was to offer them a link to the to a full film, and maybe once they see that, I've got their email address and we can have a conversation that way yeah it's possible um what it doesn't tend to work out that well though a lot of a lot of people what they'll do is they'll say like they'll have a pricing page but then it'll say oh for pricing give us your email address people don't generally want to do that um just because okay. it's basically it's basically saying if you want to see our commercial give us your email address it's not super enticing right, right? so <laughs> Okay. You want to you want to give them something like like a quick win or something that yeah. they can kind of you know figure out how how to how to do something themselves. So that's more what okay. I would recommend. But you could always try that, and it may work depending on how badly people want to get their hands on that full video. And I don't yeah. know, yeah. only you would know that. So here's the other thing. So what we're missing here are several things. Um, what I would remember again, when we talked about making this website kind of like a mousetrap, kind of just getting people to give them all the right information. So they get this, 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 and this, and then they're in the trap. So what we're missing is, you know, the benefits of hiring you, you know, what we've got here, yeah. here, um, as well as on your about page. And I don't want to come down hard on you. This is very, um, uh, typical. A lot of people. A lot of people yeah. do this. Um, what you've got a lot. You've got a lot of language about you and your your past and your experience, which a little bit of that is good because they want to know that you're that you know what you're doing, right? But at the end of the day, yeah. all they really care about is getting something that's going to be of benefit to them. So I would take out this stuff right here. Um, yeah. Put it. Put that on your about page just a short statement like that on your about page. But here what we need is three distinct benefits of going with you uh, for their wedding. So okay. these would be things like, um, you know, uh, so reliability, can you tell me? affordability. Okay. Yeah. yeah I was thinking, I think the three things would be reliability, affordability, and um, my unobtrusive filming style mm -hmm. would be three things I think. Yeah, that's great. And with reliability, I would want you to drill that down a little bit more. What does that mean? Reliability? Like uh, I'm going to turn up when I say, I'm going to say, I'm going to well, turn up. <laughs> yeah. But I like, we would hope so. Right. Like that's, yeah. <laughs> So I, I would come up with something else that's a little more like, oh, okay. you know, like a, a real benefit. Like I, I wouldn't imagine right. that I'm hiring a videographer who's not going to show up. Like that's right. not, you know, but <laughs> you'll come up with something. But yeah, I, I would go with three. And then I would also yeah. right below that, I would want to see um, I because people, let's face it, when they're coming to. Um, like a videographer's website, they want to see some samples. They want to see your work. So I wouldn't put everything on this page. Um, but, but what I would do is maybe put um, three different videos of very different styles. You know, okay. if, if you have different styles or at least different yeah. styles of weddings, um, you yeah. could put those there. Or um, 
what you might want to do, what I think might be kind of cool, because I you I'm also gonna say you need testimonials on this page. So if you could put together a video where you're basically showing all these different B-roll shots of weddings interspersed with real couples video testimonials. Right. Like three yeah. couples and like three weddings make a you know two or three minute video where these people are just gushing about how great you were, right? But uh, then while yeah, they're seriously. while they're saying that, you're they're seeing all these great images that you took. Yeah. I think that video would go a really long way. You that know? would be amazing. <laughs> yeah, right. That'd, that'd be and hard. Then, it'd be hard to pull off, but if it's a good idea to to think about that. Yeah, I mean, you, you've already got the footage, except for the yeah. testimonials. Then it's just a matter yeah. of kind of calling them up, they're your past happy customers, and just say, hey, would you mind? I'll come to you. Could we just do a quick little, you know, testimonial and just make it easy yeah. on them to film it? You know. Okay. I, I think you know what you're doing idea. with uh, with filming, so I think yeah. you're yeah. covered there. <laughs> You're ahead of most of my clients in that way, so <laughs> there you go. Um, cool. So I think that's going to be good there for the. Well, actually, one more thing for the homepage. I noticed that on your so on the pricing page, what you've got down here. Okay, a few things I want to mention on this page. You've got a how to book section. I would want this to go on the homepage, but with one change. Um, right now, you've got it basically styled as a long paragraph. But here's the yeah. thing: people very rarely will read like a long paragraph. People just are very, they're not, like I say, they're not dumb, but they are distracted. So when they're on your website, they're looking for just quick hits of information. So what I would do is I would distill this to a one, step one, step two, step three, right? Okay. Step one is free consultation. Step two is, you know, deciding yeah. on the day, signing whatever. Then step three is bask in the memories of your special day yeah. forever kind of thing, right? Okay. So it's the full story. Right. And now let's talk about your pricing page. I love that you have one because a lot of people don't even want to like disclose their pricing. So it's a good thing you do. Yeah. And so we've got three packages here and I like the way it looks like it's styled nicely, but what I would want to see you do just because if I'm here and I'm looking at these prices, it's not super easy for me to like, I have to kind of go here, then look here, then like compare things. Okay, does this have that? Okay. What, what does this one have? Um, that's where pricing tables really come in handy. You'd have to right. style it nicely. You don't want it to look like a, you know, Dropbox or like, you know, like those software as a service pages have that table. You would want it to look a little more elegant than that. But basically what that allows you to do is at a glance, people can see what's included in which package. Yeah. It's, I'll yeah. either have like the number of, let's for instance, one to two minute or seven minute, 12 minute, 20 minutes. So it'll be like, how long is the film? Seven, 12, 20. And then they can just okay. really easily at a glance see what's included in what. It just right. makes it easier okay. to yeah. compare it that way. So yeah, um, looking at it, it does, it does look exactly the same from afar, <laughs> doesn't it? Yeah. You have to do a little, whenever you're asking them to do all the work, they're generally not gonna, right? So okay. that's why it's, it's our job as um, you know, <laughs> website owners and business owners to make it as easy as possible on the clients to make to get to that decision. So, and what I would also want you to do is, it, are you really are you trying to kind of highlight? Most people try to highlight the middle package. Yeah, um, the middle package you know, is probably my most popular. Yeah, so I would definitely kind of style it in such a way where it's a little more prominent. You know. Okay. Um, just to because generally, this package is is there to make this one seem affordable. Right. This is just kind of marketing yeah. 101 stuff. And then this is the one for people who are just kind of more on a budget. So you really want to steer people here. So make it stand out. Um, and, and then contact is the wrong thing. It would be, you know, book a consultation. All right. So the next thing I want to talk about is your about page. So we kind of touched on this briefly earlier. So what we've got here is, again, what most people do, which is, you know, people treat it like it's kind of their bio. Because it's deceiving, yeah. right? You, you would think an About Us page or About Me page should be that. The truth is, again, they don't really care too much about your background. They do want to know that you know what you're doing. So I would say, like, I would have the, you know, the statement basically where you're saying your experience and how many weddings you've done. It just gives you that authority. Um, but then what I want you to segue into is more about it's an think of the about me page as another chance to tell your customers or your clients how you help them. 
Um, and the way I like to think about this is what's that, you know, philosophy that guides your business that will help them? Like, what's that should statement or shouldn't statement? For for instance, for, for the deep end, you know, I believe that a website should get you new business every single day. Or, you yeah. know, what would your version of that be? I think um, maybe I, I believe that we should be documenting events, making people feel comfortable so they want their film to watch over and over again. They don't they don't watch their film and think, oh, I remember that video guy on the day. <laughs> I remember yeah. that awful time I had <laughs> or okay. how nervous I felt. So um, yeah. to, have, to have an enjoyable experience and have the memories afterwards. That's great. So that would be a great headline here. Um, rather than just your name, it would be, I believe that everyone should have a crystal clear document of their best day of their life without the memory of that guy getting in the way the entire day, yeah. so, you know, however you'd put it, you know, and then that's kind of what the about us page becomes then it's that philosophy. It's what we believe. And here's where that becomes really gold because it's something you're basically putting that seed into their mind that they should believe that too. They may yeah. not have ever thought about that, but as they read yeah. that, they're like, oh yeah, that makes total sense. I, I think that too. This guy knows what I need. This guy gets me, right? Okay, yeah. Yeah. Now, if you want my eyes on your website so I can offer you my best tips and suggestions for improvement like I gave to Gareth, I do offer a limited number of 60-minute kickstart calls every week with small business owners just like you. You'll walk away with lots of priceless insights and a list of actionable items you can just check off to see an immediate difference. So just click right down here to schedule your call, and I can't wait to talk to you. See you then.